Come on in. Grab your tea or coffee. Make yourself comfortable and join me. Well, I'm sitting today because I want to share with you we're going how to sit well and work well. My name is Bonnie Yost. I'm a physical therapist, author, and speaker who help people transform physical limitation and deep internal and relational pain into profound potential so that they can live in joy and vibrant health. Again, today we're going to talk about sitting well. So grab a seat and let's talk about is sitting good or bad? Proper sitting posture, what is it and what are the benefits? And we'll also talk about seating options. After that, we'll talk about some patient studies or, or patient cases to apply the principles and then I'll help you to build a healthy habit that you can begin today. And we'll end with encouragement, which today is Psalm 3.3 and Colossians 3.23. After that, I'll end with prayer. So again, thank you for joining me. Governmental research and statistics uh, support the fact that back pain and sitting posture can be a negative contributor to joint pain, headaches, internal organ function, so we have to ask, is sitting good or bad? Well, any time you sit for too long, it's not good. So like me, maybe you want to set a timer so that you don't sit too long. I can get involved in my work and time flies by. So a timer helps me to remember to get up, go to the bathroom, be hydrated, take a walk, clear my mind. Sitting is not the problem. Sitting too long can be a problem, and sitting in poor posture can be a problem. So, how are you sitting? Well, if you're sitting normally, most people normally will sit back, which allows their bottom to slide forward, and then they end up, right? Have you seen that before? Done that before? When you sit on your back, you promote spinal damage, disc problems, and cause leg pain, back pain, all sorts of functional problems as well as pain to yourself. It's much nicer if you can sit all the way back in a seat that fits your leg and this one is pretty good for me because I can get my bottom all the way back. But then, am I going to have arms on my chair? Am I going to be leaning forward and working at my desk like this? This is not good either. So what do I do? What I'd like to do to correct that posture, to make it good posture, is push my back in that pushes my shoulders back and aligns my head, my neck, my shoulders over my pelvis. Well, I want to ask. I don't want to force when I want to correct something. So I'm going to use what, my, I, what I prefer, which is a McKenzie standard lumbar roll. And there's that just in case anybody wants to see what it is. The McKenzie roll, the standard roll, has a strap, which is nice, so you can put it on the back of your chair, and you can position it. In order for me to correct my posture, I need to make sure that that lumbar curve that is normal and, and desired is maintained. So I'm going to get my bottom as far back in the chair as I possibly can. Then I'm going to place that lumbar roll right at my waist, or maybe slightly below, but right at my waist, and then I'm going to try to squish it. So I have got, so I'm coming back on the lumbar roll as far as I can. By doing that, my shoulders come back, my head comes back over my shoulders, and I'm in good posture. Now, if I'm going to work on the computer, I'm going to move my chair forward. And I can't get my knees under this table, so this is not where I work. I work at a desk where I can get my knees under. My feet are flat on the floor. I'm low enough that I have about a 90 degree angle at my knees and my hips. And I have the computer close enough here that I can rest not on my wrist and not on my elbow, but on my forearm, and I can type. And I'm not going to fall into my computer, because if I do, I'll hit it. So I want to be close enough that the computer really keeps me from falling forward. That I want to stay back so that I don't 
hit my nose on it. So that is good sitting posture. And there are several seating options that we can consider. Certainly we've considered now the lumbar roll, which is, the, which is good for maintaining lumbar support. We also have, I also have a ball, and I've used that and I like it. Many of my patients also have done the same thing. And this gymnastics ball, again, you can get a sturdy ball. Um, most of these things you can get at, at back stores or place um, medical supplies or you can work through a physical therapist. But these, um, the ball I like because the ball you can keep moving. Now, the problem with a ball is that you have, an, have to have enough postural strength so that you don't over, overwork yourself and cause yourself fatigue or damage. So if you're going to work on the ball for a little while, that's fine. That works well. I have a lot of people who have that at their office. Also, some people will offer to put the ball in a cage or in a stand. You lose all the benefit if you put your ball in the cage or a stand because it can't move. And when you sit on the ball and you can move, it's great for building um, bone density and strength, because, and it's fun. <laughs> so you can bounce on it, but you also don't sit still. You can roll and you can move a little bit, which is great for core strengthening and relieving muscle tension, because you're not sitting in one place all the time. You're moving around. So I really like the ball, but you need to make sure that you have enough strength and endurance to sit without back support for a while if you're going to use it for long periods of time. And the same thing goes with this chair. This is a, a seat that you can rest your knees on. And it's the same idea that you don't have a back support. But you sit on it and your knees, you rest on your knees um, supporting you. And that knee bend position uh, with, with your pelvis tilted forward a little bit allows you to have that normal inward curve that we want to work at a desk and to to maintain good posture. Avoid when you buy, have a chair look for in fact I wrote it up here here's how you're going to do it. So now, for your building a healthy habit, you want to check your sitting posture often. And again, I love the red dot, but don't use it for many, many things. Use it for one thing at a time so you don't get confused. So remember to check your posture. Again, you can set timers. Another thing that I like to do and have my patients do is to have them check their posture or do their correction activities. Every commercial, if they watch TV a lot, Every commercial would be a really good time to check and practice your correction. Uh, no chair is perfect, so check your posture often when you're in the car, when you're sitting at home, when you're at work. Have good back support. A high back, no wobble. Having a high back is great, but don't let the back wobble. Make sure that the seat and the back are um, secure together. And then you want your lumbar support. Avoid armrest so that you can get close to your work, not fall forward into it. Build spine and core strength before sitting um, without your back, which is what I just told you about. So I hope that this helps you to um, enjoy healthier sitting, less fatigue, and more back um, health, as well as less pain. Our encouragement today is Psalm 3.3. And Colossians 3.23. So Psalm 3.3 says, But you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory and the one who holds my head high. Colossians 3.23 says, Work willingly at what you do, as though you were working for the Lord rather than people. So, Lord in heaven, creator and king, Thank you again for the time that you've given us together. Thank you for my friend coming to join me. And I hope that um, this information 
uh, will be integrated into their life for good health the way that you intend. I thank you, Father, for being with my friend, with me, to remember to take care of ourselves in your strength, not our own. If my friend has a pain or problems, I pray, Father, that they can come to you first, not last, and I strive to do the same thing. I thank you, Father, for your wisdom, that we may apply it to our lives, come to you first with our problems, and recognize that in your strength you will get us through. In Jesus' almighty name, amen. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.